Never begin any physical exercise program without first getting your doctor's approval to do so. Stop exercising immediately if you feel dizzy, nauseous, or any pain, and consult with your doctor immediately thereafter. The creators, producers, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercises and advice herein. Train safely and wisely. Get excited because you are about to change your life. Thank you for downloading the Empower Your Body Stretch Session. There are a few things I'd like to go over prior to starting. Number one is, please get cleared by a physician before you do any sort of physical exercise. Number two, I need you warm before you do stretching. Your muscles are elastic by nature and very similar to rubber bands. If you put a cold rubber band in the freezer and try to stretch it, it can snap. It's exactly what happens to cold muscles. But if you take that rubber band and put it in a microwave, it really has a lot of elasticity. It's what happens to your muscles. The heat, the blood flow allows it to be more elastic. So please, ideally this should occur after your workout and you want to make sure that you have some heat generated in you, but your heart rate is not too high. If your heart rate is too high, I don't want you on the floor, supine position, laying up, nor do I want your hands above your head. So by this point, you're cooling down, still a little bit warm and getting into your stretches. We'll start with your calves first, please. We're stretching the back leg here. We have a straight leg. Feet are faced forward. I do not want things turned out. Everything is facing forward. Now again, you've been cleared by your physician, so if you have any trouble with ankles, knees, or hips, of course, your doctor has then said, maybe you should not partake in any of these activities too quickly. Stretching your calf. If you keep your knee straight, you are stretching both muscles, gastrocnemius and soleus, two calf muscles. If you bend your knee, just like I did in the back, you're mostly stretching your soleus and you will feel that stretch lower to the Achilles tendon or the heel portion. Please switch. Muscles should be stretched for at least 30 seconds, nothing less. You can hold it for longer, but nothing less. Good, we'll come up. Now we stretch your quads and your flexors, the front of your thighs. Please take your right hand and stretch your left leg, grabbing your left ankle. Here's the thing, many times you'll see people grabbing the same side, left hand, left leg. I don't like that. I like pulling your leg across. It allows you to stay in alignment as well as really engage your flexors. It's very common for people who have the same. See how I'm pulling my leg out? Puts a lot of pressure on the medial side of my knee or the inside of my knee. So I want you to please stay with the opposite. Holding 30 seconds, breathing normally and comfortably. Switch legs, please. Again. You're grabbing your ankle, not your toes. When you grab your toes, you put more pressure on the ligaments in your knee. Please grab your ankle. Breathe, try to enjoy the position. <sighs> Wonderful. Guys, kind of still feel like your heart rate's coming down, right? Good, now we go into stretching your hips. You can find a chair or a bench. I would like your leg to come up I call this figure four. It looks like a four. Ankle on your right knee, coming forward. Do not do this, do not round. Just flat back, bring your chest forward. You will feel this in the left hip. Whichever leg is up in the figure four, you'll feel this in that hip. Ideally, you are stretching your deep six rotators, six muscles located real deep in the hip, underneath the gluteus maximus. And this feels fabulous. <laughs> so you hold it once again for 30 seconds, please. Breathing normally. And we switch. Making sure. 
If you need to push this down a little, that's okay. If your hips are very tight, you'll find your leg up like this or you may not even be able to lift it up. That's okay, start slow. Listen to your body. Go with what your body will allow it to do. Do not force anything. Breathe. Stretching is very beneficial, guys. If you don't stretch, your muscles will not have the proper range of motion. It will be hindered, and therefore, you will not be able to utilize your muscles effectively or efficiently. A muscle that is too short or too long doesn't work effectively. So you really need to make sure your muscles are stretched so that they have proper range of motion. Now we do your back. Now we round the back. You guys, I'm always talking about flat back, right? Now is when you round. Come all the way down. Watch, by this point your heart rate should be lower, so dropping your head is not as much of a concern. If you have high blood pressure, please don't drop it all the way down, you can keep your eyes forward. But you really wanna stretch in this area, really stretching the back. Breathe, exhale, you can grab your ankles, grab your toes, you can come around this way, this'll pull you down more. <sighs> Wonderful. Now we're going to come right to the floor to do some hamstrings. This feels good, right? Hopefully you guys are stretching, you feel wonderful. Come forward, stretching your hamstrings. Relax your shoulders. It's very common for people to feel tension in their shoulders. Relax your shoulders and come forward. Again, I should be more clear, not necessarily forward, towards your foot. You may feel a little stretch in your quadratus laborum on the opposite side, lower back. Now we switch, other leg. Again, coming towards the leg. Please don't round your back. It's not what we're trying to do here, to target and isolate your hamstrings, keeping your chest towards your toes. Again, you may feel a stretch in the quadratus laborum of the opposite side, which is your lower back. And that's okay. Again, listen to your body, breathe. The whole concept of a stretch, guys, find the range at which mild discomfort occurs. Ooh, I kind of feel that stretch. As you hold it through 30 seconds, that discomfort should decrease and it should become more comfortable or allow you to go further into the stretch. If that occurs, you've got a great range. If you find that and you're holding on and you're tense, come back a little bit, it's not as effective. Now, two feet forward. This is just a way of really getting both hamstrings at once. You want to slowly make to the point where your two feet come together. Please do not be scared if you cannot do this right away. You can actually use a towel, wrap around your feet and hold. Try to bring your chest forward. Not everybody can reach their toes and that's okay. Wrap a towel, hold on, relax your legs and try to pull yourself forward. Don't do this, not that ever. This. Now we do your adductors. Adductor stretch, muscles inside your groin area. Night diamond stretch, coming forward, shoulders are down. You can use your elbows to pull down your legs. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Perfect. Now I'm going to show you an abdominal stretch. You'll take your body, you'll lay on your belly holding your elbows, your elbows will hold you up. The key is to please make sure that you keep your pubic bone or your, and your groin glued to the floor and try to pull yourself up and out of it. You will therefore feel a stretch in your abdomen all throughout this area. To make it more challenging, you can come straight up. Hands directly under your shoulders, exhaling up, stretching your abdominals. Please keep your shoulders down, I don't want this. If you feel some tightness in your back, please stop. Good. Now we move on to your upper body. Chest stretch. We'll start with your left arm. I'd like you at 90 degrees, please. 
coming forward with your left foot. If your left arm is up, your left foot is coming forward. I do not want you to round towards the arm. I want you to open up away from the arm. If you go higher in the stretch, it's a more challenging stretch. Also puts a lot more work on your shoulder. So safely and effectively, let's just keep it at 90 degrees, please. Leaning forward, holding for about 30 seconds, which you've already been holding for about 25. Breathing comfortably if something hurts. I expect a lot of people tell me they feel some work in their back when they do this. Not concerned as long as it's not a piercing pain. Good. Now we go into your triceps, same arm. Up, touch your back, grab elbow, rotate. Now you can lean your whole body, but to target your tricep, I'd like you to just stretch your tricep. Good, and we hold. You have three of them, right? That's why they're called tri. Stretching all three, perfect. You guys feel good? You should feel great. You obviously had a workout, now you're stretching. Now stretch your rear delt. Keep the shoulder down, everybody does this. Keep it down, pull your arm into you, stretching the rear deltoid. Breathing, and now we do the biceps. Palm up, grab your fingers, pull straight down. Keep your arms straight, please. If you disengage your elbow and bend it, you actually don't stretch your biceps. I please need you to keep your arms straight and stretching your wrist. So you're extending it. Wonderful, you guys feel good? Now we're going into the other arm. 90 degrees, please. Once again, whatever arm is up, you're stepping forward with that leg stretching the pectoralis major. You can actually see it here. Stretching it, not closing in, opening up. If you have any shoulder problems, please stop. Always get cleared, make sure you can do these. Good, perfect, now your tricep. Up, touch your back, grab your elbow, pull, stretching your tricep. Remember, I'm not there with you, so I'm concerned. I need you guys to do this safely. But if you do these stretches, they will work. Now your rear deltoid, please. You'd be surprised how many ailments and pains can be decreased just by stretching your muscles. Tight back, tight back is a big, big problem for people. So you always wanna make sure you have flexible muscles, but stretch when you're warm. Now your bicep, palm up and stretch. Breathe. Stretching, kinda, you kinda have to get a feel for stretching. Sometimes people could think they're going to snap something. Remember, mild discomfort, hold it, and as 30 seconds go by, we wanna make sure that that really decreases the uncomfortableness. Wonderful. So those are stretches that you can do. That's the Empower Your Body Stretch Session. I hope you find it beneficial. Please do it after your exercise sessions. Whenever you're generating heat, please be warm. Please consult a physician prior to doing any stretches or activity. And please don't ever forget to be well, eat well, drink plenty of water, and don't ever forget to empower your body.